Shalom. Kahalaim la, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone as GMS. Peace and bless to the occupant of few Akawath across the four winds. It's your brother Batamai from Great Millstone Houston coming to you with a quick hit. Now, this sparked my spirit um, because I, I like to listen to or watch videos, read articles on, you know, what am I to find and things like that. But one thing that really caught my eye was the 1995. The reason being because our elder apostles have been pushing, you know, give reverence to, you know, their elders, elders, you know, those men, those great men that paved the way for us to be able to prophesy today. Of course, it's all through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, but having that respect and that reverence for our elders, elders, you know, Yahweh is the most high whom the world ignorantly calls God. You know, Yahweh's name in the Hebrew means he is, he exists, he to be. His only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai, which he is salvation. He's our redeemer. But just giving reverence to our elders because they've been going into this before. You know, there's some brothers in the camp that wasn't even born in, in 95. There's brothers in the camp that, that wasn't born when our elder apostles been going out. You know, so giving reverence to our elders, elders, like they've been bringing this out. You think Esau Edom, the separate claim white man? You don't think he scrubbed the ground from this? Hey, I mean, I said scrub the ground, scrub the internet, Slocky. But hey, I just want to play this video, Slocky. You're saying the government has created weather tampering techniques so that the quote new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans worldwide, millions of Americans, and to control the rest. Yes, sir. And that's my belief. As bizarre as that sounds, when if somebody had told me that that equipment even existed 10 years ago, I would have thought they were nuts, sir. And at this point in time, we have all the documents to prove it. And if you think that 85 tornadoes takes place in the middle of our growing area by simultaneous accident, I'm, I'm sorry. With the equipment that's already set up internationally, and as bizarre as that is, it is proven and documented. We will supply you with those documents. As bizarre as that is, I would say that weather wars, and this is uh, quoting actually Senator Claiborne Pell himself, that they are the greatest weapon ever created in the world, and that's the senator's own statement. So yes, I do stand on that. Thank you. You're saying that. Hey, our elders and the apostles have been going into things like this. You know, uh, the first. Let me bring out the first precept in a line of giving reverence and double honors to our elder. Apostles, First Timothy chapter five or seventeen, but I want to read it in the NLT. Elders who do their work well should be respected and paid well. Hey, we pay them well with double honors, but they should be respected. Even in the world, you know, coming up when I was coming up, hey, respect your elders. You know, I feel like our elders would be getting too much disrespect, but you know, it's all through the prophecy. We know that there's going to be scoffers and those who don't want to take you know heed to what the elder apostles are saying but hey it's all through the spirit and power yahweh by shimmy i was shy at the end of the day uh back in first timothy chapter 5 verse 17 especially those who work hard at both preaching and teaching man our elder apostles been going out 30 plus years 40 years what about the elders elders that's, that started out way before then hey man <laughs> if you don't have no respect for the elders you ultimately not gonna have respect for Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, which there's already camps that don't have respect for Yahweh Shah. But the main point I wanted to get from this video was um I wanted to read Psalms chapter 64, verse 8. I'm gonna read it also in the NLT. Their own tongues will ruin them, and all who see them will shake their heads in scorn. <laughs> hey, their tongues are gonna fall upon themselves when you're reading the uh KJV. Hey, you got these whistleblowers out here. Hey, that man said, if you'd have told me that 10 years, uh, he wouldn't have believed it. But that goes to show you also one thing I've learned from the elder apostles is when they release certain technologies, they're old. <laughs> like when they release certain phones or, or, or TV gadgets, hey, it's old technology, which I, I thought was very interesting, but it makes sense. But the last precept I had was 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, 
but we are not ignorant of his devices. Now, one of his devices is what? That harp system. They try to say it's for the military, but hey, you heard the video. You know, I don't want to speak on it. I'll just let the video do the speaking for me. Hey, it's for the uh, the New World Organization. They want to push the, the one government. Ultimately, that micro karagma. But they're going to use weather, you know, and part of getting these Babylonians, which is um, you Americans, to do what? To get that micro karagma so they can track you, but they're going to go through that those storms. But ultimately, it's the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. He's controlling it. <laughs> Let me get this one, actually. I'm going to end it off on this one. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So when you read in the book of Job, uh, 33, I want to say about 14 through about 16. Hey, when the when you go to sleep, the angels program you. Matter of fact, let me get it, Salaki. This is supposed to be a quick hit, but hey, the water Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, Job chapter 33, verse 15, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep followed upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instruction. <laughs> hey, the, the angels stay working, you know, you don't have no free will. So when Esau eat them, wake up in the morning and think, ah, I'm going to turn the harp system on. The the the, the uh, weather has been changing here in Texas. One week is in the thirties. Now it's back in the sixties, seventies. You know, I'm confused when I be going to work. I pack a jacket, I pack a hoodie, I pack a raincoat, I pack long sleeves, I wear short sleeves underneath. Hey, <laughs> it, it, it's that weather modification. The the harp system. Come on now, our elders, elders, elders. You know been bringing this out but be not ignorant of satan's devices lord willingness was edifying i know i was a little bit all over the place but lord willingness was edifying to the hopeful elect call halayim la yahweh bashim yahweh shah bashim kakwadash double honors to the elder apostles the elders of great millstone is gms who are worthy of double honors especially their elders elders who paved the way peace and blessed to the occupant across the few the four winds. Shalom.